winter they're naturally hibernating so they're really sleepy during these months so they don't need to do a ton we do like give them enough space so they can move from one screen to the other so they do fly a little bit in there and we make sure we're feeding them lots they eat a ton of mealworms I can't even count it's like like 100 plus daily kind of thing so there's lots of lots of food for them they get water every day so they don't need to do too much they're very colonial so they'll talk to each other like if you're here usually in the if you're here early in the mornings or just after I feed them or at nighttime you'll hear them squawking at each other at this time now they're actually very active and they're awake a lot of the time so when I'm in there they're moving around I've had some of them land on my heads and stuff like that so <laughs> they are ready to leave so we're actually going to be here at the science center so the field that's just west of the science center here there's a bunch of trees there um, we'll be releasing we have two release sites actually so uh, they'll be both by the trees out there and they're in the direction kind of towards, they're more west. So it'd be released that way. So there's lots of trees for them to land in when they go. They haven't flown long distance in a long time. So we wanna make sure we're not making them fly very far for the first time. So we're giving them kind of a chance, but it's gonna be in the west field just over here.